GCSC students, if you are sitting at Excel or AQA Maths, this exact question is almost guaranteed. Pause the video and give this a try. And I will talk you through step by step when you're ready. Let's have a look. Now let's take any number to be n. Show algebraically the product of two consecutive numbers. So I need to find the next number. So obviously that is one more than n. This is like 6 and 7, 8 and 9, 20 and 21, 30 and 31, 100 and 101, 256 and 257. Doesn't really matter. Any number and the next number. In, in at 1. Product. In maths, product means times. So let's multiply them. In bracket, in at 1. Now, this is the bit that most students struggle with. So let's see what we can do. Imagine if this number n is even. So obviously, n add 1 must be odd. Because if you think about any even number, say 20, the next one is odd. Think about any even number, 22, next one is odd. 108, Next one is odd. So always we have the numbers go even, odd, even, odd, even, odd like that. So if n is even, n add 1 is odd. However, when you multiply an even number by an odd number, my answer is always even, isn't it? Now let's think about the other possibility. Now let's say this n here is odd. n add 1 will always be even. Again, I can take multiple examples to understand it. Imagine if n is any odd number, really, say 17, the next number is even. 201 is an odd number, the next number is always even. So any odd number is always followed by an even number. So odd times even is also even. Now, what conclusion can we come from this one? Even times odd gives you an even number. Odd times even also gives you an even number. So the question is, show algebraically that the product of two consecutive numbers is always even. We just showed that. So we can write the conclusion and done. <laughs>